Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. You are welcome to this channel. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. What's really happening in the market? We had a very crazy week, guys. The market was just going crazy left and right because we had some serious economic news. So as it's Friday, we just need to summarize everything. You can see that uh, we had CPI this week. We had CPI this week. Uh, it was like seriously positive. So that made the dollar to be way too stronger. But uh, later that day, uh, later, uh, which is what it was uh, yesterday we also had a ppi which was not really that positive and that was good so at least the market tried to reverse so today we have a consumer sentiment so we had some crazy week and we also had some interest rates from the euro uh, from europe actually so this is something that we have to check almost every day just because sometimes the market can just go crazy and you might not really understand what's really happening with the market right so it was very hectic it's, it was very hectic it was going up down aggressively so on that just know that today we are just going to cover that uh, 500 rand account progress and after that i'm going to go on some of the comments that we get so and from that i'm just going to start to do on tuesdays i will be doing uh questions and answers you can which means whatever that you're asking throughout the week on tuesday i will just do a special video about that which means on that day where we do the analysis i will also go through those questions and try to answer them and i will start that today so for those who want to be part of the team you can check this uh, uh, special that we have so try to jump on that because it's not actually going to stay here forever so it's just a limited special so six months uh for 48 dollars it's crazy so don't miss that so now let's go on the account how did we start with the account for those who don't know by the way because someone will say kenzo send me this show me the progress one two three then i'm trying to show you here this year uh, around march uh, sorry around feb i said you know what we're gonna start in an account with 500 rand which is actually 26 dollars right so this 26 dollars we want to take this amount to 16k 16k which is actually equivalent to i think 300k in rents right this will be achieved uh, within 10 months right so it's not like we forced but that is actually a nice guidance that we're gonna use right so i started to say if maybe you want to be part of the team or whoever who just want to check the progress they will actually definitely check that right so you have to check that uh to see how we trade and stuff like that so what we did was okay uh for those maybe you did not really follow that much I will say we went on calendar, calendar, sorry, uh, compounding, uh, comp compounding, sorry, the calculator side, but it's just a day, uh, uh, daily compound interest. So you can see that here, this, th sorry guys, this website does like, it has some crazy ads. So don't be surprised when you see some videos all over the place. So we started with $26, which is actually 500 trends for 10 months, no weekends. So you can see without any withdrawing, then we did the calculation. I'm trying to be fast because I don't really want this video to be 40 minutes, but if it reaches that 40 minutes is fine. You can just skip. So on that, you can see that the projection for 10 months it's actually 16k which means it's going to be around december right so that is fine uh, we don't really have any issue with that so which means uh if i can go monthly to monthly you can see that uh, at the end of feb i'm supposed to reach this march at uh, the end of uh, march i'm supposed to be here uh, 82 dollars at the end of this month which is april i'm supposed to be on 157 we can say 158 so let's check the progress right so i will just open my calculator my computer is, try, is getting slower i'll have to close these pages there are so many pages that i've opened so now let's see around march 
we we have to reach 82 I was already on one point something, 1 1.9, 1 1.6. We were already far from this $82, which was good, right? So this month, we're supposed to be on 157, 157. So which means it's almost 299, let's say 3000, right? So now we're done with that. I will just go on the actual um, MetaTrader and try to show you. Let me open my MetaTrader and see. So let's go on the meta trader, right? So on the meta trader, yesterday I told my people to scalp uh what again? to scalp um Euro USD. Hey, uh, that thing is, is still holding us here. You can see that we are still holding that. So you can see with that month we have actually uh made 2500 you see remember i'm talking about uh 26 dollars so and last week just because i saw the market was going very well i took out my 500 unfortunately i did not really update you but it was not really necessary so you can see i removed that 500 rent so on the deposit you can see there is 80 80 rents not really the amount that i've deposited is because i don't know with this broker when you hold trades longer they there's these things they give you i don't know how do they call them it's div or it's dividends or something i don't know you can when we go here you can see every day i get this div us uh, us tech so i get the seven rents three rents whatever and that adds up to that 80 rents. It's not like the money that I've deposited. So you can see I withdrawn only that. So when we go on the on the chart, you can see that I'm still holding this. I've been holding this for quite some time now. I've been holding this trades for quite some time. So you can see that we have Nasdaq. I still open with 0 0.03 because this makes sense with me. And with this account, you can see it's trying to go a little bit uh, down. So yesterday we were supposed to scalp a Euro USD. Whoa, uh, this thing just went against me. And unfortunately, it's the first time I on this account trading Euro USD. So this it's a warning not to add that. And which means now I'm on a negative uh let's say let's say 500 or maybe something like that so this you can see is just unnecessary loss because i was not supposed to trade that euro usd and it seems to be trying to go down again you see because the dollar is quite stronger but where we are maybe we will see a reversal i don't know i'm hoping that so on nasdaq i had these trades for for quite long i don't know when i opened this but uh they've been here for quite oh 21 march you can see 21st of March, you can see here, I opened this positions 21 on, Mar on March. The other one is 20th of March. So I've been opening them here on top. But likely enough, the time when the market was going down, I told my people, yeah, we can take some other trades. But you can see that we are a bit closer. So which means on my account, I already actually, I don't know the time, quadrupled or whatever, because... The account is actually on 3000 because I also removed, uh, took out my 500. If you remove this 500, you're going to get 2.5. But now, just because we have this negative, uh, we will see how will this end. I'm not going to over risk. I'm just going to uh, actually monitor this Euro USD. I'm hoping that it's going to go up. If it doesn't really go up, it means this is going to be the loss. It's fine. I'm still running on my profit. Maybe that will be trying to reverse. I'm hoping that, right? So that's that's the progress of this account. But if you check, we only have Feb, March, and April is not really done yet. So which means we are on more than 200% or maybe 300% in this account. So which means it's good. If maybe you started from March, now you were on 3,000. From 3,000, we can take that to 6. And on this one, I was just trading NASDAQ with 0 0.03. If I start to go aggressive, and on this, unfortunately, I'm just paying the price of trading some stuff that I said I'm not going to trade, unfortunately. But what I like is I did not really tell anyone to take these trades. So which means if you were following me, you were still in the trades. So but the best broker for this is going to be XNES because with that 0.03, look where I opened 
and look where my stop loss is. It's actually 200 something. So which means I can hold this trade for quite long. We can have some reversals here and there and I'm not going to panic. I think something that I'm going to panic with here is going to be this Euro USD. I will need to cut that out because it's giving me some issues. But we are on extra profit. So I think this makes sense with everyone. So we're already on 10 minutes. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So another thing is, this is my channel, guys. So I'm going to go through some of the questions, right? Uh, because I saw some questions said, Kenzo, why are you still talking about uh, buying or uptrend when the market is on a downtrend? I think, guys, yes, you are allowed to, to put your opinion out there and also on this channel. But remember, we use different strategies, guys. I'm using uh, trends trading. So if the market is reversing inside my trend, I can't say we are on a downtrend. We are still on an uptrend unless if the market breaks out of that trend. Simple as that. So some people, I think they just buy, sell, buy, sell, and they enjoy doing that. But I have a solid uh, a stra a strategy that I follow every day. So let's let 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 us let, 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 go through the 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 comments. Good analysis, Kenzo. Just a little critic from a supporter. Great, thanks, man. Uh, I think it's it's Sibusi, so the name. Don't you think your strategy is a bit lagging behind? Uh, the indices have been selling. Listen, the indices have been selling for two weeks now and you're still hoping for a reversal. You're losing out on good selling opportunities, which shows that the trend has finished. Nice question. And thanks, my brother. Keep them coming. So another one is uh, thanks for the um, recent video updates. 500 account. Oh, my brother here said, Kenzo, update us on that 500 account. I think I updated you already. So if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. So now we're going to go on those uh, questions and try to understand, right? So fortunately today, I will just start with uh, Asia. This thing, uh, this thing is mooring me now. I, I need to just look at this Euro USD. So yeah, I made a mess and losing seven. I'm not going to lose 700 obviously because I still have orders from my NASDAQ. But I'm hoping for a reversal. This thing has been selling for quite some time. But that is, yeah, that is not really good. You don't really have to hold that much. Uh, but I can play around because I have, I, I, I managed to make some profits. So now, just to make sure that I answer the questions properly, I will start with NASDAQ and go in uh, to the other ones. So the video might be long. Uh, if maybe you need to skip, you can skip. It's fine. So let's do something like this let's go on a daily time frame let's go on a daily time frame and see what we we have actually so on my side just look this this is my it's a daily time frame from this area i i want you to understand guys i like us to talk not we're not fighting we're not doing anything i like the conversation so you can see from actually november the market has been going up. This to me looks like an uptrend. You see, but just because it's an uptrend, it doesn't really mean the market won't give us these sales. The market won't obviously will give us this type of sales. And even here, we had the same thing. I don't really see any downtrend on that, but there is that maybe our difference is the strategy that we use. I think that is our difference. You see, not that maybe you're wrong and not that I'm actually, I'm not, I don't think I'm wrong because my trend is not really broken yet, right? So now let's go on for our time frame. So when we go on our four hours time frame, let's tr try to see. My brother said, Kenzo, we are selling for two weeks now. Okay, we have this structure. Obviously, I will talk, I will talk about this last structure here. You can see that. To me, I don't really see that as any selling structure. Okay, let me explain. We have a very nice support there. We pointed that several times. We can see how many touches this market did here. You can see that. And yesterday, we saw a nice touch. You can see that level, right? Okay, I hope you can see that. 
So let's see. How many times did the market go up, 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 up? So when someone says, Kezo, we have two weeks selling. Well, I don't really see that, unfortunately. Or maybe you are on a smaller time frame. Maybe you mean this bigger reversal. I see that as a proper sell. On that, yes. I see this as a proper sell. If maybe you're selling, you don't really care about the trends. I also see this as a proper sell that I saw the market reversing. But maybe you also count with this. You also count in this. To me, this is actually a consolidation. I don't really trade when the market is doing that. Then after this consolidation, it's when we had that move. So to me, I don't really know if maybe there was a sell there. And on this structure, to me, it's just a horizontal structure. So not horizontal structure. We can say it was actually a very nice ranging structure. I don't really see any trend going down. I hope that I answered that. So, yes, you can keep them coming if maybe you have any question. But another thing, not to confuse everyone, this block that we have here, it's not really a different block that we have here. And we can say around this area and another one here. So on these structures, when you see a nice cell like that, is that a downtrend or just a nice reversal? It's just a nice reversal. We had these structures now and then, but the market is still on uptrend. Mostly when we learn about this length and uptrends, we have something like this. If maybe because sometimes we learn differently, we have something like this. So, so which means this is obviously this one, obviously everyone understand this. The market goes up, down, up, down. So when the market is going down like this, is this a downtrend now? No, the trend is this one. It, it's giving us higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. But we can't say the market has been selling when you're talking about this reversal because the market has been going up. But yes, we can still differ. We can still differ with our analysis. But at the end of the day, we can still uh, eat on our own strategies. So I, I just wanted to maybe make my brother understand that. On my side, I don't really see any any sell there. I don't really see any downtrend structure. Yes, you can sell. You can scalp that. Yes, we're going to make money. But two weeks, uh, on the two weeks, I disagree on that. I don't really see any two weeks. I only see only one, two aggressive sales. Yeah. So let's continue. I tried to answer that, but I will do a specific video for this, guys, so that we can actually understand uh, stuff. Like if maybe you have some question, yes, try to answer that. Uh, try to ask that. We will continue to help with that, right? So you can see that the market is still, to me, is still actually on that uptrend. Now we reach this le resistance level on top. So which means, yes, there is a chance for the market to do what to reverse again, or maybe the market to break out here and start to go to the upside again. Do you see that? That's what I'm expecting. Why? Because the market still shows us that I'm going up. So 80% of the time, if you were buying, you were just going to be right. Even if you buy at the wrong time or at the wrong level. Because at the end of the day, the market will be going up. You see? Simple as that. So where the market is, it was there even... Let me see. It was there even around February. Yes, just look here. So we never had any breakout since February. So when we say we are on a sell, we've been here on this structure for quite some time. You see, so if maybe we're going below that and say, can we look at the previous structure? Maybe we're now going down. Uh, yes, I was going to understand that, right? So, but I'm still bullish. I'm still going to look for nice buy positions. But here, obviously, the market reached a nice highest level. We might expect the market to, to reverse, but we are still on that uptrend until the market breaks out. So just because I started with NASDAQ, let's try to see what we can get on S&P 500. Quite similar. The market has been on this nice uptrend until we have a proper breakout. Then we can say, yes, the market will be going down. Right. So now it means I will just try to be uh, to re uh, to go on this pass. You see where I can say maybe there is a sell is this 
on US 30. On US 30, we can easily see that, you know what, the market was going up very nice. The market was going up very nice. I no longer have any structure that I can see the market uh, it's holding that the only hope that i had was yesterday we had the news and i thought maybe the market was going to try to go up as the market was around this area and then the market reversed but later on the market did try to push up but what we see here is yes we had a very nice uptrend do you see that we had a very nice uptrend and from that uptrend we start to see a nice breakout from that breakout, it shows us that, you know what, the market is doing what? Now the market is showing us that it's trying to go lower. On this one, I'm out. We are starting to look for that sell. Anything can change is fine. But for me, this is a proper breakout. I don't really see any support area. So I will just have to wait and see what's really happening around this. Maybe the market will be trying to go down. You see, if you're talking about your uh, US 30, on that one i understand i seriously understand so for those who wants to be part of the team you can scan this qr code this is just limited uh special so it's not really going to stay here for until month end so if you want to enjoy if you want to increase your profit slowly not fighting the market uh, let me know and now whoa we are on on gold on gold the market is still flying guys this thing is still flying and I don't think uh, we're going to see it reversing anytime soon. I think we did have a buy, but the market did reverse aggressively. I don't know if we had a buy here or somewhere. Then the market reversed. Then I did wait because we had the news, I think, yesterday, PPI. So I waited. Then now I see that the market is flying. But the structure, it's been there. We can easily see that the market is, tr is trying to do what to give us and higher high, higher lows. And now the market is still flying. So... On this one, guys, it's difficult to catch up with NASDAQ and uh, with gold because it's aggressively flying. So that sometimes can also confuse whoever who is trying to buy because any smaller reversal can be like seriously bad, right? So let's push to the next one. Holy sh then GBP USD, guys. I'm holding this thing and it's more in me. Let me check. I need to close it. I think I need to close this thing. Yeah, now I think it's now getting worse. I'd rather just lose it because I don't really see it reversing. So ish, I'm losing a lot here. Uh, anyway, it's five six. Okay, it's five. It's six hundred. It's fine. I will be. I have a stop loss that which means it will be closing. So that will actually slow my account. And I was not really supposed to take that, unfortunately. So this is the price that we pay. If you do the things that are not on the on the plan, most likely the market doesn't really go in your favor. And it's like the market can see that, unfortunately. You don't know, you, you won't really know how, but just because I'm not used to have that crazy lot, uh, loss since we started this account, yeah, that was actually bad. Uh, we're not supposed to move like that. So now we are actually on GBP, USD. That buy came after we have uh, that uh, Euro, Euro, European interest rates. Yesterday, I thought maybe the market was going to respect this. Just to have a quick, nice uh, 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 scalping, then the market reversed on us. That's the problem. That's how this problem started. So, but we are on GBP USD. I was expecting something like this to happen. But if it breaks out here, obviously it means that the market is breaking out of that support. We need to continue looking for those sell. Unfortunately, I went against the trend. So mostly when you go against the trend, you pay for that. And it's not really nice, but I will just try to, to minimize that loss. So uh, let's see what's really happening on EURUSD. This is the price that I'm paying. You can see the market is trying to do what to go actually a little bit uh, lower. The way we were, we were around this level. We were waiting for uh, interest rates. The market was starting to go a little bit higher. So I was expecting to scalp this here before we go down. So I was actually interested in taking that because I've been holding NASDAQ without any. The market was not really pushing that much. Guess what? I got in. Hey, yeah, this thing started to reverse. And mostly I have... I hate this pair actually because most of the time when I trade, I lose on Euro USD or also also on GBP USD. I also lose. I don't know why, or maybe I just really don't really like this currency pair. But that is not really something that you should do. 
focus on one pair that is going to help you so the structure was like that so which means now this shows us that it's an aggressive sell so it might retest here before going down or maybe it might reverse again you can see this thing can reverse so i was expecting the same thing so that i said that's why i said let's try to have a proper um scalping because we introducing scalping scalping in the group right but that's what was not really that bad uh it's just that i did enter with three positions after that right so i'm still expecting a continuation of that cell and that's what i'm expecting so here i am expecting nothing but to see something happening i'm sorry i'm expecting to see the market going down unfortunately now it means we just have to wait for a nice reversal then the market might continue like that and when i checked you saw that we don't really have any economic news from europe so which means that will mean uh you a dollar is getting way too strong you can see here on dollar index we had that structure of our resistance structure which was broken very nice because everything was quite positive and it seems like uh us is going to be quite stronger but it's surprising you also saw that uh, the dollar so gold it's also doing the same thing and when we see this obviously europe is going to suffer europe is suffering because you can see the cell because uh, the dollar is gaining that strength it's gaining that momentum so this is what we have now we have that uptrend structure i was expecting to see some crazy reversals on on nasdaq us status but they did not really happen which means the stock market doesn't really care it's quite stronger also quite similar to uh, to what we see on gold so us dollar is quite strong guys so bitcoin let's see bitcoin is quite slow it's been moving or consolidating around these levels you can see that yes we had this type of structures of a support and the market seems like it's not really breaking out of that so i'm still expecting to see a very nice push to the upset right so that's what i'm expecting unless if the market tries to break that level so now on gbp jpy yeah we can easily see that jpy is quite a gbp jpy is quite weak for now but the overall structure is still on this nice uptrend we can see a very nice uptrend so i'm expecting the market to touch this level before going up again so but we have a nice support area here that the market can still reach before going up but if the market decides to break everything there is nothing we can do we can just say you know what the market just broke out simple as that so let's go to the next one i'm trying to be as quick as possible on usdjpy uh, you can easily see that yes the dollar is stronger but we don't really see that on other pairs so you can see that yes we see a very nice uh, uptrend the market consolidated what we see now is i'm still expecting uh, to see a continuation of that bullish move we had a trade if you're still holding that it's up to you you can lock you can get out the market is still struggling here we might have anything can happen there you see so i'm expecting to see something happening but not really negative as we are on a smaller pro profit maybe it will try to push even higher but since we are very closer to halfway to that i think we are halfway there so i think that will be a very good for you to just log and just wait and see as long as you're not losing anything right so another one is um euro jpy we can see that euro was actually selling aggressively uh, maybe we will see that change in no time uh, we saw it selling uh, even here you can see on jpy it was still selling but the biggest structure here is we are still on this nice uptrend right but this reversal it's also welcomed because we can buy once the market touches this support maybe it's gonna touch the diagonal one or our horizontal structure then we can say it's our time for us to do what to look for another bullish structure that's what i'm expecting something like that if maybe it goes even lower but the best thing that we're supposed to do here is we just have to wait for it to reach this level i just see something there but it might still reach this level or maybe this lower one here before going up something like that can also happen unfortunately we don't really have any aggressive economic news so i will be just waiting and see which one uh, what is going to happen right so on euro on euro euro za we can easily see that 
uh, we had this nice uptrend until we started to see a breakout so on that the, you see you can see this is a proper breakout that i'm talking about so if maybe we are on a structure and we see this cell here let me show you wh what the market is mostly will do then if you don't understand you will end up losing some serious cash so we are on an uptrend for quite long but we see this bigger moves here you can make something yes along the way the market was reversing and that's how the market is supposed to move but once you see this reversal you can't just say we were on a downtrend it's not a, actually a downtrend we were on yes you can sell and still make money but the structure was still on an uptrend yes you can have a smaller reversal here and there i'm surprised the door uh, the czar is actually keeping up with uh with europe we can easily see that we had a breakout after that we see a nice consolidation structure then we had a sell pending order the market did touch that i don't, I don't know if maybe we are still holding this because it seems like we sent this uh, for quite long so guys for those who wants to check our free group we do have a free signal group so check on the description and if you still want to be part of the team you can still join us for only 48 dollars we still have other packages if you want 12 months if you want lifetime let me know just scan that qr code whatsapp me and i will help you so thank you very much this is kenzo extra out forex bye